do now is, is we're going to put a little bit in the glabella area here. Uh, this area for some people some lines. In this situation where there's a scar and it will help to soften the area. What it does by preventing the skin from scrunching like that, it gets us a leg, leg flatter. As it lays flatter, this makes us look more uniform. And yeah, obviously for everybody, you know, different amounts can be required, you know, could be as little as 10, could be as many as 25 units. Today we're going to use 15 units. So it's going to be three injections here and two airs right here, and these muscles here. Um, and uh, I'm going to demonstrate that right now. To do it is, it's a very fine needle. It's just a 30 gauge needle, which is about the size of a hair. Very fine. So usually discomfort is not much of a problem with this. Okay, here we go. Go ahead and you frown real hard for me. Good, relax it. Okay, you relax it now. Yeah. Okay, here's the first injection. Okay, then a little in the. So we're here. And then the last little bit we put on the left side. There's a bit a little bit of puffiness that's from the injection right afterwards, but that usually going to go away in about 10 or 15 minutes. That will resolve. And then right afterwards, what I use a little, I like to use a little um, cytoactive. It's a hyaluronic acid gel, and what it does is it really helps to prevent somebody from bleeding later on or bruising, I should say. What I try to have uh, patients do too is for the next uh, hour, every five to ten minutes, have them to, to frown. Uh, and what that will do is that forces the body to take the uh, Botox up better in this area. And as usual, it takes about four to seven days for Botox to take full effect. Um, if you've never had it before, it's your first time, it takes longer to work. If you've been doing it for a while, it works faster. Personally, I've, I've had it done about, over about 18 year period of time. So me right now, it works in about five minutes. It doesn't take me time at all. <laughs> Very good, okay. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to inject a little Botox into the mental area. And what we're trying to do is, sometimes we get these marinate lines here. And the, the marinate lines really comes from the fact that as we lose volume here, everything kind of drops down here. And there are a couple of ways. Obviously, we put filler here to lift it. But sometimes when it's very mild like this, is I usually inject a little Botox here. And what it will do is there are muscles that pull it down and muscles that lift it up. What we're doing is we're weakening the muscle to pull it down so we can just get some lift to get this air to soften on both sides. It's, it's not dramatic. We don't want to have somebody look at the joker hub. We just want a little bit of lift right here. And what you usually want to do is have your bite down hard for me. Good. And what I do is I put a little hyaluronic acid gel in that, which that's prevented from bruising. Very simple, very quick injection. Okay. We're trying to weaken the muscle, pull it down. We're trying to get lift here. So we inject a little bit here. And then bite that hard for me. Yes. Okay. Very good. You can relax it. Same thing with a little hyaluronic acid gel so it won't bruise later. Just like without any air where I tend to put Botox in, the next hour is I try to get uh, my patients to use that muscle. So what ha happens in the next hour, about every five, 10 minutes, I have them bite down right here because what it would do, that just forces the body to take the Botox up better. And really, over the next four to seven days, we'll see the full effect of that. That just helps to lift. Is it, we're just getting a little bit of lift here. We're not trying to, like I said, we're not trying to high lift like with the Joker. Just a little bit of lift to make this line smoother here.
If we don't get enough smoothness, we can always come back and either with a little filler, put either a tiny bit of filler here, or once again, it's filler up in here. But if it's mild, I like to just put a little Botox right there.